Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you the full process of this Moonite commission from the sketch process to finished colors. So I'm starting the layout sketch in Procreate. I love doing layouts on Procreate, it saves me a lot of time and this way I can work on multiple projects at once. Another option for the layout process or the sketching process, you can also use a draft paper. You can use the draft paper for layout and then you can do the sketch also on the draft paper and then transfer it onto the paper that you want to use for the colors. By using a draft paper, you can also keep the color paper very clean. So it's beneficial for watercolors and markers if you want to keep your sketch very tight it's much easier to to do the messy sketch process separately and then you can transfer only the lines that you want onto the watercolor paper or markers paper So after finishing the sketch in Procreate, I printed the sketch on A4 size and I'm going to transfer it onto my watercolor paper. I'm going to use magic tape for it. And I'm sticking the magic tape on my clothes so it will be just a little bit less sticky because I don't want to damage the watercolor paper. So for the sketch, I'm using H and HB pencils. Now that I transferred the sketch, I'm going to add a little bit of shadows. It makes it easier for me to work this way. It saves me some time while I'm coloring. This way I already identified where the shadows are and I just color right over it. So for this piece, I'm going to use touch markers to color the figure and I'm using my grey tone set.
After finishing the markers layer, I'm moving on to watercolor colored pencils. With a fine brush and a little bit of water, I'm mixing the colored pencils layer. So to cover these symbols, I used a masking pen. I actually don't recommend it. I didn't like how the glue in the masking reacted with the paper. So for the background I'm using watercolors. And after the watercolors layer got dry, I added just a little bit of acrylic. And to add some texture and cool effects, I used some more colored pencils. And my favorite part, highlights. I'm using a Posca pen. It's an acrylic based pen. To create the eye glow effect, I'm using the Posca marker with just a little bit of water and a fine brush. Now just a little bit of acrylic splattering, I used liquid acrylic, last touch of colored pencils. And that's it, it's finished, yay! Hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching.